I know as an actor, as a, a New Yorker, uh, it allowed me to also work through all of that, sharing that with an audience. It was, uh, it was a very special time. We didn't know if we would have an audience. Uh, we didn't know how we would, they would react to a comedy, a dark comedy. We were very curious about whether anybody would show up, for those that did come. What would it even be like, you know? I mean, what, how would people react? Would they laugh? Would they clap? Our producers um, pushed our opening night back by a week. I think we opened the next Thursday night. Um, but that Thursday, the, the night that we all went back to work, um, we actually had to make a couple of small changes um, in the script um, because it didn't feel appropriate at all. And those changes never went back into the show. There were several uh, uh, bomb explosions and uh, gunfire uh, in the springtime for Hitler number that we took out, I believe, for that first week back. Um, there may have been a couple other tweaks throughout, just, you know, often I'm no fan of changing anything for any other reason because a piece is what it is. But boy, it was, it was important uh, to do that at that point. People didn't need to hear those sounds. I, I can't even describe it. It was, it was, it was, unusual and sad and, and sort of strange to be going back to work. Um, our, our director, John Rando, uh, gave a speech, a curtain speech before um, the show, which was very moving. We had about a half a house, I would say. So at the curtain call, uh, as opposed to singing the goodbye song that we would sing every night, we, uh, we sang God Bless America. And, uh, it was just as overwhelming emotionally as, as you would think it would be. And yet, again, never had, I, never had I sung that song with such conviction and such understanding of, of, of what it meant or what it meant to me. Certainly, some of the um, curtain speeches uh, and, and the uh, rendition of God Bless America were very inspiring. Even the most uh, cynical amongst us who uh, uh, think that uh, that patriotism stuff is uh, is a little on the cheesy side couldn't help but be moved. You know, they're in a hotel room in Sorrento. TV's totally in all different foreign languages, but there's CNN in English, and there my mother sees footage of that curtain call that night when we sang God Bless America, and what that meant to her to be so far away and have some connection to what was going on here, much less to see her son on television. I can only imagine how how crazy that was for her, but, uh, but the fact that, that we were part of the face of New York getting back on its feet, New York rebuilding, and the fact that the producers was back on in this show that you know, a lot of people outside of New York did know about. Um, we, were, we were getting back to work, we were getting back to our lives, and uh, we were going to be strong. I guess it's that whole ensemble feeling that is part of theater that, you know, let me just jump in and, and try to make it better. Well, September 11th was certainly another uh, example of the show must go on. Uh, Broadway has uh, always lived by that creed. I think for some people they had misgivings about that in the early stage because was it disrespectful? Was it inappropriate? Should the show go on? Uh, the idea that we were going to go out there and try to share this, you know, two and a half hours of silliness of just kind of crazy with an audience who'd been so traumatized. We just weren't sure. That first night, people were screaming so loudly, I thought my hair was going to fly off my head. It was that energy of, I, I don't know what to do with my feelings. And in, in kind of a kooky way that, uh, the, the ending of the show where they just do song after song after song after song after song and people are up and screaming. It just gave them permission to, be, to release it, to get loud and scream and laugh and get up on their feet and dance. And I, I'd never seen that before and I think that's when I truly realized the power of, of the theater and of music and of, uh, of art is that it allows people to 
release their feelings through other people. I think that we were able to help uh, in some way, and I have been told several times by people, strangers, that I had never met, uh, how important that evening at the theater was for them when they saw the producers soon after 9-11, and what it meant for them to be able to sit in the dark and laugh, because we weren't laughing. Not only does theater and art in general give us permission to sort of enjoy our lives, I think it also gives us permission to hang on to um, our civilization as opposed to um, hanging on to um, aggression or, or fear. New Yorkers um, who got past the terror and got past the, the, the sadness of that, which was so sad you, you didn't even have the equipment to deal with it because it was that sad. Uh, but it's, it became a reassurance for that. And for, and for all of us on Broadway that we had a, we had a, a, a job to do that was central to the city. And uh, we keep doing it today, which is the most thrilling thing in the world.